Okay, Miles, we're just going to take and go right, like I told you, directly behind the tooth. One drop of anesthetic on the tissue. You need to be higher up so you can see what I'm doing up this way. Mm -hmm. I need you to look at a little pinch here. Uh -huh. Tiny little pinch. We just go real slow. And I'm behind the tooth in the attached tissue. And we're going to go in here nice and easy, does it? We got a little in vert vertical bony impacted wisdom tooth. It's partly, partly soft tissue impacted. And we're just going to inject probably about a half a carpal in just behind that tooth, nice and slow and easy. Notice the tissue blanching white here. Like that. Another carpal, please. So we went behind the tooth, Miles, and we're going to go in front of the tooth again, just a little small. Put a drop of anesthetic on the tissue so it blanches a little bit and go real through real slow and easy. Come right into that inner dental papilla and we're going to inject slowly and we want to make sure that the stuff is going in so we've got a real tight papilla because this tooth is vertical bony impacted. And we're just going to go in here real gently to the buckle. Go ahead and suck in. That, around that tooth just a little bit on the buckle again here and again you can go slow and just inject and we're going to go to the meat to the lingual here a little bit here catch that lingual tissue okay there you go buddy now we're gonna we should have him numb now we're gonna move over here Diane's gonna move over and show you the picture on the x this is what we're this is what we're taking pictures of right here. This bubby right there. We're going to do all four of them today, but that's the one I just anesthetized. We're going to go back now. You feel your lip okay? Uh huh. Good. Now we're going to pick up our ES and check in for numbness. Real quick here. If you feel something, give me a little uh. We're just going to go around that tooth and mm. felt something there a little bit. Mm. How about here? Anything over here? Nothing there. Just a little bit on the lingual. Mm. Mm. Something there on the mesial a little bit. So it's either instantaneously numb or not numb at all. So we'll go back and add just a little tiny bit where we thought we had a little, little bit of uh, feeling there. Lingual just a little bit, and we're going to go down to the crest of the bone and inject some of this. Is oh. a little bit, yeah, there it's a little lingual nerve there. Right, that's a good buddy. There we go. Inject right there. Come back over here again on the buckle. You had a little tiny bit of feeling there. Just blanch that tissue a little bit and give it nice, nice steady pressure about uh, 10 pounds on your thumb, and watch that tissue. If it isn't going in, you may have the needle buried in the bone, so you want to come back up just a tad. Just like that. Now we're going to go in here and hand me the swan. And we're going to just push a little bit. If you feel something, let me know. I'm going to go right in between these two puppies here. I'm just going to check and see if he's completely numb. If you feel anything other than pushing, Angel, give me a little off. Uh, oh. Feel something there? Is that... Pinching or just pressure? Um, Pressure's this, pinching's this. Pressure. Pressure's normal. Okay. okay. So this is a vertical bony impaction. As you know, Miles, those are a little bit problematic. But our boy's gonna feel just a little pressure here as I sneak this little swan in between there and elevate this tooth out of there so that we're done. We've got that thing out for him. Take us a couple moments, as you know. Nothing to it. And the cow horns. Well, she didn't have a cow horn, Miles, but you can see that puppy's all been luxated and it's really out of there now. It's just a matter of delivering it. And a couple moments, we have this thing done here. Pretty easy. I'm going to change instruments here just a little bit, waiting for that cow horn because. 
You know, you want to get the tooth out, you send a dental assistant for an instrument, and of course it falls out. So we anesthetize to the distal and to the mesial with a little articane. How's your lip feeling down here? You got feeling here? Mm -hmm. Feels his lip, feels his tongue. Turn it off. 